We're gonna install the torque converter into the 727 that's going back into Dorothy. This 727 is for big block. Dorothy actually has a 727 in her. Somebody put her in at some point, um, but it's for a small block. So uh, anyway, follow along. All right, so what I wanna point out to you guys is you see that key that's right there? There's another one on this side, 180 degrees apart. What you wanna do is make a note of which way it's facing. So it's facing about this direction, all right? So we wanna make a, back up a little bit. We wanna make a note of that so that when we go to put the torque converter in, it aligns to those guys. And what we're aligning to those, those keys is these keyways. So those key, keys have to fit into these keyways. So we want to make sure we get some grease in here on the front pump seal. Uh, you don't want it to be dry because if it's dry, it's going to leak. So we'll get some grease on there, get everything all nice and lubed up so it makes a nice seal. And I always kind of put a little bit of grease on all these uh, teeth and stuff. All right, now it might look like it's in there all the way. I guarantee you it's not. So if we get up, you know, get a top shot from the top of the bell housing and you look at where the, um, the bolts will go through in the converter, you can see it's practically flush. It's not supposed to be flush. This thing should be sunk in more. So you gotta keep playing with it. Oh, look at that. Nice. We got really lucky on that one. See how sunk in the whole converter is now? So, that's good. And uh, so anyway, this is, uh, oh, let's put some grease on here too. This is gonna go inside the back of the crank a little bit. Just get it a little bit lubed up. Um, this converter came from uh, Robert Sullivan, one of our buddies, had donated to the cause. Uh, the transmission was donated by Chris Field, who owns Schumacher and uh, Motec, and is also a team member. All right, so whoever used this converter before, they knew what they were doing, they marked it. Uh, we just gotta make sure we get the corresponding mark and put it on the flex plate of the 383. So if you don't know this, one of these ears is just off a little bit. Uh, it's extremely frustrating. You go to put this into your car and you, when you go to put these bolts in here, you can only do one at a time and you got to turn the engine over, do the next one, turn it over, do the next one. And you might get three of these things to align and then the fourth one doesn't. <laughs> then you got to take it all back apart and then you got to rotate it one and hope it aligns that time. I've done it before and uh, it is not fun at all. So I'm going to stick this on here and we're going to see See where we're at. All right, the threads look a little boogered up here. So I'm gonna chase it with a tap. Um, happens to be 5 16 24. I'm gonna be very, very careful. So it looks like it's boogered up on the very top of the threads. Down below looks okay. So hoping I can get get these to clean up and get a bolt in there. All right, finally. By the way, I'm gonna use this paint. Race Hemi Orange is an ugly color. <laughs> um, just so you know, the, the 
Ray semis were like this yellow, more yellowish colored in, engine. So don't ever buy this unless you're doing like a factory original Hemi car or like a Max Wedge car, the Max Wedge color, it's this. See, it's kind of ugly and this stuff stinks to high heaven. But anyway, take this back off. This side. So when I put it on the other engine, I know where to mark it. All right, so try to do this kind of quickly. I'm gonna try to line up these bolt holes to here, to the crank first. Okay, see how they're all lined up? So these guys should be lined up now. Looks good. These are the wrong size, by the way. I'm just using them because they're longer, but that aligns. So I need to mark this ear, which is funny because, oh, you know what? I think I marked that converter. I think that paint is for me because I see orange paint here, so that's good. We're aligned. I told you though that the guy knew what he was doing. Anyway, not even gonna see the paint from this side because the converter is gonna go against it. When this is down here, you're gonna see the orange paint down here. But anyway, we're good. <laughs> 